back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it, and I will come back for you, my love. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep true. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. So, the Vortex and the Gadget... I'm... Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities? Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. 
you power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a LumiVista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit... out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Was that? Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you cast in this game, too? Listen, there are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> I'd blanked out, and I was suddenly someplace else. Now, I'd had gaps in my memory before, but that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or... Was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall, method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> but what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Who was that? It's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy node. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No, can't. No. Oh, my God. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy. The other me had hidden it away from this trailer. Handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The 
master of many worlds. hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. to find the creek. That's where the other me hid the energy node. He was thinking about a waterfall deep in the forest. Okay, I found the creek. So, Where's the energy node? to the trailer and the TV.